Super Bowl 49 at Phoenix, Arizona with Hall of Fame offensive lineman Jackie Slater, who's here for Zimmer Orthopedics, the nation's leading provider of joint replacement procedures. You're one of those rare guys, Jackie, who played in the Super Bowl, and you have a son in the game this nah. weekend. <laughs> how about that, like? huh? How about Isn't that, that cool? That is cool. It is really cool. I, I, I can tell you that I'm not participating in the practices, obviously, and everything, but uh, the emotion that well up inside me from 1979 as we played in Super Bowl 14. Uh, uh, I'm being revisited by those because um, it's my son, and uh, I obviously want to see him have a, have a great time. This is the second Super Bowl for him, by the way, in seven years, and he, he, he walked away with that, that bad taste in his mouth in Indianapolis a few years back, and I'd love to see him know what the other other side of that feels like. Of course, your son is Matt, and he's not an offensive lineman. No. I mean, he's a Pro Bowl <laughs> special teams guy. Right. Here you are, uh, Pro Bowl Hall of Fame offensive lineman, and 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 he's a you know he's the fast guy. He, they, he's <laughs> the fast guy and the little guy. On top of that, I I, I thought I would have had a son that would have been six four five and three plus, so I could work with him, taught him how to be a good offensive lineman. But uh, he just didn't get that big. He's five eleven and three quarters, weighs about two oh five. But he's he's pretty fast. Now, I don't know where the speed came from, but uh, he he's a really fast kid. And but I'm delighted to say, uh, as I watch him, as I hear him in the interviews and everything, you know, he was paying attention and he, he noticed uh, you know, what what work ethic was about. As he watched me at the end of my career, I was retarding the aging process and all of that. And and he took many of those lessons that he learned, uh, just kind of just being there by osmosis and watching. And he's taking those lessons to an organization that features arguably the best coach in the history of the game and he's and he's created a niche and made himself valuable in that organization and I, I couldn't be more proud. Jackie the uh, Dallas Cowboys had a, a fine season this year and much of their turnaround was credited to the guys who do what you did exactly play on the offensive line when you watch them this year watch them work Zach Martin Travis Frederick Tyron Smith those guys what impressed you about them? well I, I was my mind was taken back to I believe the last time the Dallas Cowboys were in the Super Bowl they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers here here and if you remember that game uh, there was a lot of talk about what was going to happen and and how the offensive front of the Cowboys were going to match up uh, against the defensive front of the Pittsburgh Steelers and as I remember uh, there was just a physical domination at the line of scrimmage and and I was my mind was taken back to those days as I watched those guys they Someone in the organization revisited their storied past and said, hey, one of the things that we consistently had going on was a dominant offensive line, you know, with Williams and Larry Allen and all those guys. And so Nate Newton. And so they revisited that and they, and they went back to that. And, and that's where it really, in my, in my opinion, uh, that's where football games are won and lost at the line of scrimmage. And, and they, they feature some really special guys, and they, and they got the job done. They, there's a belief, I guess, out there that the game has kind of turned finesse. Do you believe that, and is there still – does it still go back to what you did, a little smash-mouth football blocking for guys like Eric Dickerson? Well, I mean, <coughs> you, you, I, I think all you have to do is just, just think just for one moment. When you think about the game going finesse, I mean, I don't see a six foot five, 230-pound wide receiver as being – finesse in the passing game I mean that's a big physical which is what attacking it's become, guy right? yeah, yeah. Right. okay now and I don't see him having the opportunity to get up the field and make plays if the line of scrimmage isn't solidified so that's still the same okay so they're, phys they're more physical in the passing game with the receivers they are just as physical at the offensive line with protection and I think maybe where that comes from is what you're seeing primarily with many of the backs. Now, this team, these two teams in this Super Bowl aren't featuring big – they aren't featuring the little scat finesseful backs. They're featuring big power backs, okay? But if you look around the National Football League, the Shady McCoys, the Bernard kid over – when well, you look at all the Sproles, they're getting – the backs seem to be getting smaller and shiftier and, and the Danny Woodheads and catch the ball and do a lot of different things instead of just that big featured guy like Eric Dickerson we block for that you can give the ball to 30 times a game for 16 games. So 
from that standpoint, I think he's gotten a little bit more finesse. I don't have to ask you who's going to win on Sunday because I'm sure you're you're going with the Patriots. And, <laughs> I don't. And Matt. I don't know who's going to win. <laughs> I know who I'd like to see win. Uh, well, if they do win, why will they win? And we'll wrap it up with that, Jackie Slater. Why All will right, the Patriots Danny. win Sunday? Okay. What do you think? Who, do I think they're going to win? Why will the Patriots win on why Sunday? Why will they win? Yeah. Ah, you know, I see so many reasons why they're capable of winning, but I also see a lot of reasons why they could lose the ball game. <laughs> right. So. Uh, I'm just going to sit there and strategically watch it in the back of my head as best I can and look for these little things. As a proud dad, right? As a dad, and then look for those things that I think gives them a chance to win and as well as hope not to see those things that I think could really rear their head and stop them from winning. Jackie Slater, Hall of Fame offensive lineman, L.A. Rams, 20 years, Radio Row, Super Bowl 49. Thank you, Jackie. Appreciate it. You're very welcome.